Okay, so we're on problem number 45 now. Again, I'm seeing a leading coefficient that's negative. And what I'm going to do is factor out um, certainly a minus 1. But I'm looking at those numbers, and it appears that a 9 is uh, involved in each one. I'm going to write this down, minus 9. This would be 22x squared. <coughs> Let me just check that. That's 180 plus 18, and that's 198. That worked good. What's the next one going to be? Plus, well, 5, and then minus 3. All right? So let me keep moving. This is minus 9. I'm making sort of an assumption here that I can do this. And I'm looking at this thing. There's really no choice in the last guy. It's 3. So I'm going to say 3 and a 1. Now I'm looking at the 22. And I don't think 22 and 1 would do it because I can't see any way to get a 5 out of that. But I, I think I could do it with a, um, a 2 and an 11. All right. Now, granted, it might be a struggle to do that, but I'm kind of looking at it. And I'm going to say 2x and 11x over here. All right? This is, this is like a first try. 2x times 11x is 22x squared. I'm not looking at signs yet. And 1 times 3 is 3. All right? But I do, gotta, I do need the product to be negative and the internal sum to be positive. So I'm looking at I'm going to say this over here. Let's see if that works. Again, the 2x times 11x is 22x squared. 1 times minus 3 is minus 3. Do I get the middle term now? Well, that gives me minus 6 plus 11, which, of course, is 5. I'm going to box this. I get at my point where I'm problem number 45, I think it's a <coughs> time that I pay careful attention to the K uh, without going to do much additional work over here. So the minus 9, 2x plus 1, and again, I'm looking at the K, 11x minus 3. We're doing fine. Thank you.